So white is doing rook c2 a very tricky move. If you check here theory and the uh, main games of grandmasters even were played bishop e6. And after knight d5, uh, white was getting a little bit better position. The thing here is that after knight d5, uh, cd5, if we just take queen d2, it will be the same problem for us, because after king d2, bishop d7, there will be rook c7 move. Now d7 is hanging, b7 is hanging. And instead of that, uh, after bishop e6, knight d5, we have a trick a bit. We take knight d5, cd5, and uh, do a, a nice tactic, rook fc8. Rook fc8. The idea we are fighting for c line, not giving him easily to play somewhere rook c7. Now if d6, uh, we take just rook c2. So after uh, rook fc8, why should take queen a5 first? Rook a5, and now c2 is hanging. If d6, we take rook c2, uh, and if rook c8, we take bishop, bishop c8 back. Uh, and uh, here everything will be okay for us. But after uh, rook a5, uh, they play here king d2. Uh, keeping the king in the center, rook c2, bishop c2, we go bishop d7. And what happened? We had similar endgames uh, with king on g1. Uh, and uh, there was everything okay because of b2 pawn was hanging all the time. Here with king on c2, we may have a little bit problems. Uh, what's up? Why? Because we have uh, some problems with a4 pawn. It can be weak. Uh, here there is only one open line, it's this uh, C line, so gonna be fight for this line. And let's assume, let's assume we are playing here after bishop d7, rook c1, uh, we are playing rook a8 back and fighting for uh, C line, so uh, after king b1, rook c7, we'll try to play rook c8 and change the rooks. What's happening now? Okay, uh, king b1, uh, rook c8, the same thing, yeah? Here we have problem, take, take, bishop b5, and up, a4 pawn is hanging. If the same position after rook c8, bishop c8, this uh, pawn on a4 was on a6, uh, it would be okay. We had not any uh, weaknesses, uh, next move it can be f5, so it's equal position. But here with a4 pawn we are having problems. Even if this position our bishop was on d7, still it would be not very easy. Let's say in this position white don't play bishop b5 and we get some position like this, king c2, bishop d7. This endgame is again problematic because of our pawn on a4. Now white can play bishop d2, change bishop c3, and if he changes his bishop, uh, next move, white will play king b4, and a4 pawn will hang after bishop d1 or bishop b5, so they will take our a4 pawn, it's uh, very weak. So when we have this a4 pawn, it's important that our opponent king on g1, so b2 is hanging immediately. With king on the center, a4 pawn uh, can be already a weakness. This is the idea of uh, this tricky after queen a5 rook c2 move so bishop e6 uh, many games was played but this is a little bit inaccuracy because the endings we are getting a little bit worse so instead of that we will play here bishop d7 let's go